सो दिस इज अदिक क्लास मैथिक मैथ्स डेमो क्लास ठीक है सो डू यू नो समिंग अबाउट वैदिक मैथ्स एनीथिंग अबाउट वैदिक मैथ्स बोथ ऑफ यू यस ईशा यू कैन ऑल्सो टॉक नो मैम ओके वैदिक मैथ्स एक्चुअली वैदिक मैथ्स इज आर वेरी 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 वी कैन से द फादर ऑफ द मैथ्स ओके वैदिक मैथ्स पीपल यूज इट इन एंशियन टाइम पीरियड टू कैलकुलेट देअर एडिशन सब्रैक्शन मल्टीप्लीकेशन दीज काइंड ऑफ कैलकुलेशन फॉर यूजिंग दे आर यूजिंग वैदिक मैथ्स ओके वी हैव सिक्सटीन सूत्रास मीन्स सूत्रास मीन्स फॉर्मुलाई ओके we have 16 formulae and 13 sub formulae in vedic maths with these formulas or we can call them tricks we can find our answer very quick way and very faster and very easy way in very easy way okay by vedic math tricks we can simplify lots of calculations we can improve our focus we can improve our memory concentration speed and accuracy okay if we are sitting in a competitive exam so we can solve the questions very quickly by using these tricks fine yes ma'am let's start we have our first trick here it is called all from 9 last from 10 you can note down the heading all from 9 and last from 10 this is the first trick when we use this trick when we need to subtract any you can mute yourself please unmute when i will tell you to unmute okay for then please mute yourself yes uh, this trick is useful when we need to subtract any number from the base numbers do you know what is base number no no okay base numbers i have written the definition of base numbers in very short form that the numbers in which one followed by zeros are called base numbers for example 100 1000 10000 these are called base numbers okay suppose we have a digit 99 it is a two digit number so base number of 99 is 100 Fine, and if we have digit three digit number, any number of three digit number, then the base number of that three digit number is one thousand. Means one followed by three zeros. Okay, got it. Base numbers clear. Yes. Now, if we need to subtract any number, any term from hundred, thousand, ten thousand, so that on that. calculation we can use all from 9 and last from 10 fine let's begin how to use this okay uh find uh, we need to find 1000 minus 773 okay in our traditional method how we can subtract this can you please explain any of you we can ask the carry numbers we can ask बेसिक मैथड और इन स्कूल वी आर डूइंग वट वी वर डूइंग वन थाउजेंड माइनस Seven seventy three. First, we will write it in um, horizontal uh, side. Then we will carry one from this zero. We will carry from this. We don't have any number here, so this zero will ask from this zero. Then this zero will ask from one. So one will give one to this. Then it will become ten. Then again, it will give one to this. it becomes 10 and it become 9 and then it gave 1 to this and it will become 10 means this method takes too much time yes yes now yes. we are we are saying about saving the time so we will use vedic math fine 
in vedic maths we uh, we use yeah. the trick all from 9 last from 10 what does it mean all from 9 all the numbers from 9 and last number from 10 we will subtract these numbers from 9 and last number from 10 we don't use 1000 okay we use only this number we will subtract all the numbers except last number from 9 and number last number from 10 let's start ha huh? minus 9 minus 7 it will be 2 then again 9 minus 7 it will be 2 and 10 minus 3 it will be 7 so our answer is 227 no need of carry over and borrowing nothing is used have you got it Yes, yes. okay uh, one time more i can, i will explain all these see what we need to do subtract each figure in 773 from 9 and the last from 10 so 9 minus 7 is equals to 2 just start from the left side okay don't start from the right start from the left side in vedic maths everything we will start from the left side only last part only the answer we can write from right to left otherwise we will write left to right okay so 9 minus 7 is 2 then again 9 minus 7 is 2 then 10 minus 3 is 7 so 1000 minus 773 is 227 easy Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, it's easy and quick. Yes, Neetu, can you on your camera? Neetu Monga, please on your camera. Yes. Yeah. Do you understand, Neetu? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, next question. This is for you. You all of you need to solve this. One lakh. Minus seven eight nine six seven. Here also we need to uh, apply all from nine, last from ten. So uh, subtract all the terms except seven from nine, and subtract seven that is last term from ten. Teacher, the answer is a uh, twenty, a uh, twenty, uh, one, uh, twenty one thousand and thirty three. Twenty one thousand and thirty three. Yes. Okay, Tisha, you got your answer. Yes, ma'am. Is it same? Ma'am, yes. And me, me too. I think you got this trick, huh? Is it easy or is it faster? Yes, it's fast. It's really fast and really easy. Yeah, very easy. Fine. Then I think you like this trick, huh? All of you. Yes. Okay. No need to explain again. Need to please tell no, if you need to. Uh, if I need to explain again. No, ma'am. Okay. You got this. Okay. then i think i need to go ahead now next question yes mohit can you tell me the answer yeah uh, the answer is uh, the answer is 900 as uh, no no next next uh, you can see my screen you need to yes. do it orally okay no need to write you can do orally just tell me the answer Nine minus one is nine minus one is eight. Yeah. And and uh, nine minus zero is nine. And yes. then and then the nine minus four is five. Very good. And nine minus three is is uh six. Hmm. And if nine minus four is a five, and nine minus ten is one. Very nice. It's easy. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and 
yes isha can you do it orally okay no need to write just give me answer orally uh you are muted rajay can you unmute yes ma'am 9 minus 1 is 8 yeah 10 minus 9 is 1 very nice answer is 81 yes yeah. okay mohit please tell the answer yes yeah, sure uh so so 9 so 9 minus 9 is 9 minus 9 is 0 and yeah. then 9 minus 8 is 1 and then 9 minus 3 is uh, uh 6 and 10 minus 4 is 7 10 minus 4 is i mean i'm 6 6 yes 6 so answer is 0166 fine yeah, meaning 166 yeah then yes isha this is your turn unmute unmute first ma'am 9 minus 1 is 8 9 minus 3 is 6 9 minus 5 is 4 yes 9 my 9 minus 4 is uh, 5 last one from 10 10 minus 4 is 10 minus 4 is 6 6 so answer is 8646 8646 fine yes ma'am okay now now we will i will tell you the magic trick how to remember tables of any digit first i think 9 uh, the table of 9 everyone knows the table of 9 yes, yes ma'am so no need to tell the table of 9 okay so no, we are going to start the table of two digit numbers okay how to write the table of two digit number quickly okay one condition is there you have to know that a uh, table of 1 2 9 okay this is easy for you you all know the table of 1 2 9 yeah so yes yo so if we need to write the table of 24 okay so how we can write the table of 24 at first you need to make a line okay then one side of line you need to write the table of 2 quickly 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 and then 20 fine then another side we can write the table of 4 8 12 16 20 24 28 32 36 and 40 okay now the table of 24 how we can write the table of 24 now we will write from this side okay 8 as it is then 4 as it is so 24 to the 48 okay 2 times 24 is 48 now here we have two digit number so first digit 2 right as it is and 1 will be carry over so 6 plus 1 is 7 72 okay then 6 as it is 1 carry over 8 plus 1 is 9 24 4 is 96 then 0 as it is 2 carry over 10 plus 2 12 fine then 4 as it is 2 carry over 14 okay then 8 as it is 2 carry over it will be 16 then 2 as it is 3 carry over 192 then 6 as it is 3 carry over it will be 21 then 0 as it is 4 carry over it will be 240 easy this is the table of 24 okay you can write it in few seconds if you practice little bit okay if you uh, practice daily you can be frequent in writing tables okay now okay. can you write for me if i gave you any i will give you any number yes if you have any doubt then ask me do you understand yes okay any doubts no 
No. Okay. Then please write the table of 53 for me. 53. Written. Who is written? Nitu? Yes. Okay, Rajay. Just wait for others to write. Okay. Then we will uh, check. I'm explaining again. This is a trick for writing two digit number table. Uh, we are writing the table of 53. Fine. Yes, Isha, uh, you, you didn't get it? No, ma'am. Okay. First, we need to write the table of 5. Okay. If we need to write table of 53. So, in one side of this line, we need to write table of 5. And on the other side, we need to write table of 3. Fine. Yeah. Then we need to balance it. Okay. This step is called balancing. Balancing start from right to left. Okay. This is the last step where we write answer. So we write from right to left side. Okay. Yeah. Then first 53 as it is because we need to write 53 ones are 53. So now 53 twos are. Start from this. We will write 6 as it is. 6 as it is. Then second side as it is for every time. Okay. If we don't have any two digit number here. So both sides we can write as it is. Okay. Six as it is. Then 10 as it is. So 53 twos are 106. Fine. Then 9 as it is. And 15 as it is. So 53 threes are 159. So trick starts from here. Because here we have two digit number. So two we will write as it is. And one will be carry over. So 20 plus 1 is 21. So 202. Okay. From here 5 we will write as it is here. Okay. Then 1 will carry over. So 25 plus 1 is equals to 26. So the answer is 265. Fine. Then 8 as it is. Then 1 carry over. 30 plus 1. 31. Join again? No. If the connection will, will be disconnected, then you need to join again. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay. Now 1 as it is. And 2 carry over. 35 plus 2. 37. Then 4 as it is. 2 carry over. 40 plus 2 is 42. Okay. This is 42. 4, 2, 4. Okay. Then 7 as it is here. And 2 will be carry over. 45 plus 2. 47. Fine. Then 0 as it is. 3 carry over. 50 plus 3. 530. Fine. Yeah, now yeah, understood. Yeah. Anyone? Yeah, yeah, yes. If anyone have doubt, please let me know now. Yes. Square of any number. Now we we have a trick for square of number. The name of the trick is by one more than one before. You can write this topic by one more than one before. If you could not understood this, then you can write square of number ending at five. Square of number ending at 5. Okay. Now with this trick we can find squares of numbers. Only that numbers that have ending number 5. Okay. Any two digit number which has 5 on its unit place. Like 35, 45, 55. Only these numbers. Okay. Now we are doing the trick for these numbers. Later on we will do the trick for any number, okay, any two digit, any three digit, any four digit. But for now, we are doing only for numbers ending at five. Fine. So first, I, I think all of you know what is the square of any number? What is the meaning of square of a number? Double, double. Double the number. Double, not double actually. Double means multiply by two. Is it right? We can say double multiply by 2. But square of number is multiply by itself. Any number multiply by itself. Like we have number 35. So square of 35 is 35 into 35. That is the square of 35. Fine? 
then how we can find the square of 35 you can write these two steps then i will explain uh, in the next slide firstly you if you want to write then you can write these two steps then i need to find square of 35 firstly square of 35 we can write it as 35 multiply by 35 this is the square of 35 or we can write it as 35 power 2 this is called square fine how we can find 35 into 35 in traditional method we need to multiply 35 into 35 Firstly, we multiply five by thirty-five. Then, on the next row, we multiply three by three. And now, this is the long method. So, in this Vedic maths, we have a very short method. So, first square of thirty-five, we can write directly answer. How write twenty-five at the last of the answer? Because we have five at the unit place. So, square of five is always twenty-five. so write down 25 at the last okay then 3 and what is the successor of 3 successor of 3 is 4 4 yeah 4 so we need to multiply 3 by 4 which is 4 threes are 12 we need to write it here so square of 35 is 1225 or you can say 1225 easy okay got it got it okay everyone got it uh yes. but i'm like one thing do we yeah. have to do 35 by the power of 2 yeah this is our question okay we need to solve this question so how we can solve this question in easy way just write 25 at last okay then multiply 3 by its successor and write in front of 25 so that is your answer okay got it yeah i will explain one more time okay how 35 square we can write step 1 write 25 at the unit place and tens place then multiply 3 with its successor successor of 3 is 4 so we will multiply 3 by 4 so answer is 1225 fine okay fine yes if anybody have doubt just let me know no no okay then can you please do these questions for me i will ask turn by turn Okay, first, Neetu, can you solve fifteen square? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, please tell me the answer. Fifteen square is fifteen into 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 you can do it orally okay no need to write anything you can do orally yes now 25 square yes isha isha you are muted raje mam 55 that 25 yes and successor of 2 is 3 2 3 are 9 ha 2 3 2 3 are 6 6 so answer is Six hundred and twenty-five. Yeah. Yes. Now, Muhammad. Yes, Isha. Ma'am, five five zero. Ma'am, twenty-five. Yes. Ma'am, eight. Uh, success. Eight successor was nine. Yeah. Eight nine zero seventy-two. Seventy-two. So answer is seven two two five. Seven two two five. Fine. now it's easy yes. for you to find square of number ending at 5 yes ma'am yes. if you will continue then i will tell you to find a square of any number okay okay this is the trick for today now we will do the next one what we have uh, next yeah multiply by 11 
हाउ टू मल्टीप्लाई एनी नंबर विथ इलेवन ओके वेदर इट इज टू डिजिट नंबर थ्री डिजिट नंबर फोर डिजिट नंबर वट एवर इट इज वी हैव ट्रिक टू मल्टीप्लाई नंबर बाय इलेवन द नेम ऑफ द मैथड इज सैंडविच मैथड लुक्स वेरी यमी सैंडविच मैथड ओके यू कैन राइट डाउन द स्टेप्स फर्स्ट स्टेप इज पुट जीरो बिफोर एंड आफ्टर द नंबर and add consecutive number put slash between each number and last step is balancing okay so we have 329 into 11 what is what was our first step first we need to put zero before and after the number so we have number 2 329 so put zero before and after the number okay now we need to add the consecutive numbers do you know the consecutive numbers what is the consecutive number no uh, uh, no consecutive means neighbors okay like zero and three are neighbors here so these are consecutive numbers okay likewise three uh, and two and nine all are the neighbors i am telling about all the numbers like 3 and 2 are neighbors so these are the consecutive numbers and 2 and 9 are consecutive numbers same similarly 9 and 0 are consecutive numbers so we will add one by one and put slash between each of them okay how like 0 plus 3 is 3 put slash then 3 plus 2 5 slash Then two plus nine, eleven slash. Then nine plus zero, nine. Fine. This is the second step. Okay. Now yeah. we will write third step, which is the answer of the question. So we will write from this side. Okay. This step called balancing. Balancing is uh, same like tables. Like we need to write first number as it is. Then if it has second number then we will carry over but it it doesn't have any second digit so we will go for next number one as it is second digit and then another number carry over 5 plus 1 is 6 6 and then 3 as it is so 329 multiply by 11 is 3619 Fine. Okay. I will okay. explain one more time. Okay. Uh, it's easy. Like um, uh, yeah. you have to um just like put put zero beside the number and uh, after the number. Yes, it's easy. You need to put first in first step. You need to put zero before and after the number. then add consecutive numbers means add the neighbor numbers and put slash between them as 0 plus 3 3 slash then 3 plus 2 5 slash Five. then 2 plus 9 11 slash and 9 plus 0 9 then last step is balancing 9 as it is 1 as it is 1 carry over 5 plus 1 6 And three as it is. So answer is three six one nine. Fine. Easy. Fine. Easy. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So can you do these questions? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Then solve it fast. Huh? First. Yes. Uh, just tell me the uh, side by side. Okay. Don't write only. Just let me know the answers first. Thirty-three by eleven. Who will do the first? Me. Okay. Just let me know the answer. You need to recall all the steps. Okay. First step is put zero before and after the number, which is number will become zero three three zero. Then we need to add consecutive numbers. So the answer is. Three, six slash three, then five 
final answer is yes mohammed can you tell uh, it's uh, 360 363 it's 363 ah 363 88 by 11 okay first step was put zero before and after the number and now we need to add consecutive numbers okay consecutive numbers are first pair of consecutive number is 0 and 8 it will be 8 then 8 plus 8 it will be 16 then 8 plus 0 it will be 8 so answer we can write from this side okay 8 as it is then 6 as it is 1 carry over because here we have two digit number okay so 8 plus 1 is 9 answer is 968 oh i did i thought that we had to do multiplication and you had to use do the uh, what do you say Yeah, that we, we did multiplication. multiplication but we use some tricks to do this multiplication okay okay we did multiplication but we solved it by different method by different trick we are using it we we have used a trick not by traditional multiplication method okay in vedic maths we will learn so many tricks to solve these kind of questions Fine. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's do the birthday magic. Hmm. Uh, it's called the birthday method. Birthday magic. It is a magic. It is not any method. I will predict your birthday by some calculations. Till now, you didn't tell me your birthday. No one tell me. Uh, my birthday. No, is... no, no, no. I am not asking. I am not asking. I will tell you your birthday without telling you to me. Okay. Just do some calculations with me. Okay. Okay. One thousand two hundred sixty-four. One thousand. And two hundred sixty-four. Two hundred and one thousand two hundred and sixty-four. Oh, you born on fourteenth of October? Yes. 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 It's magic. Yes. Now, Isha, can you tell me your final answer? How did you do it? I will tell you. Wait for a minute. Seventy-two, ma'am. Five hundred seventy-two. Five hundred seventy-two. Five seven two, ma'am. Yes, five hundred seventy two. It's very short number, huh? Uh, are you born yes. on twenty second March? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, Muhammad. <laughs> can you tell me your answer? Uh, eight hundred sixty eight. Eight hundred sixty eight. Have you done right calculations? Yes. I uh, and do you born on eighteenth of June? How did you guess it? <laughs> I am not guessing it. I am doing magic. How do you do the rest of the calculation? Yeah, le let me tell you. Okay, you can write all the steps first. I will tell you. Demo session. Okay, if you want to continue, then just let me know on my WhatsApp number. then we will continue okay. from the next week i have one question that uh, what curriculum you will uh, cover